So I'm going to show you guys how to do an aquarium background. The background I have is the ADA fog one and people you people that have Remless tanks usually go with this option a lot. Um, but it can be used for any tank, it, it don't matter. But if you wanted to get the true like potential out of these backgrounds, I would definitely go with the Remless tank. So I see I already got it open but this is it right here, it's just the aqua screen from ADA. It's just a, it's basically like a window privacy film. It's, it's frosted, so you can still see behind it, but, but it still gives it that, um, where you, you, you still, you can't see, you know, like if you're going to have, you're going to see, still see cores and all that, but it just kind of gives it that, where it gives it contrast to your escape and all that. So definitely don't rely on this to hide anything. I mean, you can still hide stuff, but you just won't like, like a black core like that, it ain't, it ain't getting hidden. So just just warning if you do go with that, but if you do like a a black background or any other color, yeah, you can easily hide anything. But for these, usually that's why most of the time everybody just puts their equipment on the side because you're, I mean, but you know you do what you want to do. But just a, just a warning if you're wondering. But here it is right here. Um, it is it is I didn't even realize this, but it's actually pretty much a sticker. Like it peels and it's sticky. Usually the ones like if you get on Amazon or any other website and you just straight up buy a privacy film, um, usually you have to wet it down and it kind of applies like that. It just kind of, you know, you have to take a card to it and all that. And you guys probably watching has probably seen a lot of videos like that already on YouTube. But this one I didn't realize, which makes it nice. It actually has a sticky residue on it, which won't destroy your tank, but it just it's better than you know having to add water all over your tank and use a card and do that kind of method but so this will be really nice and easy so but i don't know if i'll be able to record me actually putting it on but i'll definitely show you guys i try to progress you guys as i go and show you what i do because i definitely have to take a knife and cut this off and i kind of show you guys the best way to do that so other than that i'll see you guys in the next clip so just to show you guys real here real quick you can see it well, you guys can't see that sticky. Only I can, but the um, it's a sticky, and you see how it peels back. So this is actually something different with just the ADA ones. I didn't realize. I thought it was gonna be more of a, you know, a water solution that we put on this, but so that makes it super easy. But one thing I do add, even if you go with this option, the ADA, I would still wipe down. I had I had plastic on mine, so I'm not too concerned. So I, I probably won't even do it. But I still gave it a quick wipe just to get any dust off of it. I would you know spray some water on it, wipe it down. You can even use glass cleaner if you want to. It don't matter. Obviously, you don't want to do that when you're have your tank all set up. But glass cleaner is fine as long as you're not spraying the tank. Or if it's a new tank like this, it just don't matter. You can clean the glass however you want to. But that's all I got to mention there. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. So I want to show you guys this real quick before I go full blast on this, but I would recommend doing it like this where you can get it get it tacked on one side and then you can sit there and see how I can just twist it and then it's like pulling it tight. So I would definitely do that because this stuff, I almost ruined it already getting it because it's super sticky. So it folded on each other and I almost messed up but I got it fixed. So it still looks like I'm going to probably have to take a card at, a card at it from the looks of it i'll see when i get all done but it's definitely adding some air bubbles as i do it so that's fine it nothing nothing um out of the ordinary but i'll show you guys when i get this thing fully to the end so real quick i just want to mention i know i said the ada one is sticky so you might not need water which that is possible you can do that but you might get more air bubbles that way if you just go ahead and just stick it on there and that works but what i did I showed you guys sticking it on a little bit, but then I I went back and sprayed water on it, and that see, the air bubbles see how easier they move with water on it. So really, those are not even air bubbles; they're water bubbles at this point. But it just and it's gonna make your the the back of this just look way cleaner. So you can go ahead and use a stick like I said, but um, I'll just go ahead and just I got a spray bottle. Just go ahead and spray the whole back of it, and you're just gonna get a lot cleaner look. So this is basically. I'll show you guys a final look. I'm going to kind of wipe it down and get the card across it and get it all looking nice. And I'll come right, right back to you guys. Just wanted to show you guys with the card real quick to see how, how you just can scrape it all down and it, look, and it gives it just a really clean look. Just want to show you guys that real quick before I 
fully finish it just so you guys can kind of visually see this but yeah you just kind of it's kind of like a screen protector on the phone you just kind of have to work all the, bu the bubbles out and it with water on it, it makes it a lot nicer though because it just all but it'll basically all look like that one's done but like i said I'll, I'll come back to you guys when i get it all smooth off and we'll talk from there okay so i got most of it pulled out there's still some water down here but when you have so much water in there, it, some still it's still gonna build up. It like won't go away, so you kind of have to let it like dry out a little bit and then go back and wipe the down, the at least the bottoms down. Everything else is pretty good. A little bit of bubbles on the top, but when, once all all dries out, then you can just swipe it right back. But I kind of messed up this background a little bit when I was first putting it on and taking it off. So you can see it's kind of bent in this corner, so that kind of sucks a little bit. I might be able to like somehow adhesive that corner. But I don't think you'll be able to really see it from the inside. You'll see like a little air bubble, but that's about it. But I think I can fix that. The same right here. I scratched it right here. That won't matter because of the substrate. But that I'm kind of worried about. And yeah, I don't think. I mean, yeah, you could see it, but I don't know if it's even that big of a deal. But overall, it looks really good. Yeah, I did. now that I'm looking at it over here, it is kind of more noticeable, but hopefully I put the stone in there and that stone will cover that up. That's about where my big stone is. Well, that that big stone will be. So I'm hoping that will at least cover that. We'll see. Or at least I'll find a way to cover that with the rock. I'll try my best, but so you can see it looks real nice when you get it all smooth out and finished. Just gives a real nice just frosted look. And that's just kind of the look everybody's been going for these last past years. But just gives the tank that, that, that much more contrast. And then when you have all the colors and all that, it just really makes everything pop. I think to really get the potential out of these type of backgrounds, you definitely have to add a, a lot of background plants and all that. Because it, does like, it doesn't look the greatest when it's just wide open like this. You more, you know, once you get stuff around it and all that, it really starts to pop. Because it, it makes everything look like it's deeper in the tank and, you know, all that. But... So yeah, I think I'm going to actually, I didn't really, the video's kind of getting long, so, but I think I'm going to end right there, because I think that's all I really need to show. I mean, it's self-explanatory. After you get all the bubbles in, I'm just going to kind of let it sit there for a minute before I even try to cut it. But just, you know, take a really sharp razor blade and just kind of cut that. You can even take, you could probably put, take a ruler and push it real hard against that edge, and then, you can get, and then take that knife with it and cut down with it, and that'll give it a really clean cut edge. That'd be my recommendation. Or really anything flat and straight you can use to cut those edges off. But as you can see, the light really illuminates that back, so it makes it look pretty cool. But other than that, if you have questions, definitely let me know down in the comments. Follow me on my social media, especially Instagram. I post a lot of updates, at least on this on this tank a lot. You'll see everything. Bef you re you'll see a lot of the stuff happen before it goes on YouTube there. So definitely look up there. But. Other than that, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.